Best Bet Live, Hand of the Week. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Dustin Shacklock back coming at you with another Hand of the Week from Best Bet Live. This hand is a, uh, a really interesting turn formation that I found while digging through some hands. This is from a recent 2-5 Nolan Hold'em deep stack cash game. Um, this hand, every player at the game is extremely deep. As you can just look around the table, you see just piles. So this hand starts in a kind of an interesting way. It's a straddle to 10 from Raymond in the one seat. DW blind raises to 30, wakes up a 5-4 offsuit. So my guy there, RJ1 in the four seat, makes the call here with queen deuce of hearts. Uh, you might recognize OMG, it's variance right there. He gets out of the way. And Cody gets a good price in the small blind, makes the call with ace tray suited. And Raymond can't fold in this spot. 20 more dollars. So he makes the call with queen nine off. So we get a really juicy flop, right? Everybody in the hand gets a piece. As you can see here, Cody gets top piece, bad kicker. Raymond gets middle pair. DW gets bottom pair. RJ1 flops the second nut flush draw. So RJ last to act, leads out into the field for 50. Perfectly fine with this. Looks small, looks bluffy, looks like he's buying it. It's cool, he's got a lot of equity. So leads out for 50, gets called in two spots. Now, spicy turn card, right? Turn card hits everybody. As you can see here, Cody picks up the nut flush draw with ace tray of clubs. This card gives Raymond middle two pair. This card gives RJ1 a pair to go with his second nut flush draw. So RJ is going to get after it. RJ bets 100 into 270, which is a really small size, right? So Cody makes the call. So now the pot's even bigger. Now there's almost 500 in the middle. And this is where I think things get interesting. This is where I think a lot of small stakes players kind of make a mistake. What Raymond does in this spot is he three bets RJ1 based on the size of his bet instead of the size of the pot. So this gives RJ1 a great price to continue with all of his hands. But what it does, which is even more important, is if RJ1 calls, it's going to give Cody a phenomenal price to call. There's almost no hands that Cody calls the flop with that he can fold here on the turn to Raymond's three bet. So, and any hand that he calls with is going to have a ton of equity against Raymond's hand. So now Cody has to call... 300 to win almost 1200 he's got to be good like 20 percent of the time right so cody makes the call for 300 after rj makes the call now this pot's just massive as you can see it's a slam dunk call for cody needs to be right 20 percent of the time he's going to be good about 36 percent of the time um somehow he misses half the deck the another nine peels off on the river giving raymond nines full of queens uh, Dream River card, and this is this spot. I think Raymond actually chooses a very good bet size. He goes for a very small bet, bets 400 into almost 1500. So goes very small, trying to get value. And as you'll see, it's actually going to work. I think RJ1 here goes in the tank, trying to figure out what kind of hand that Raymond just down bets so hard to. So now RJ1, he might even think that they're chopping at some frequency. He's got queens and nines with an ace. Um, Raymond can have the same hand. Raymond can have some other missed heart draws. At least RJ has a, a pair to go with his heart. Um, so RJ does dig deep, make the call. Uh, it's going to be a loser, but he does make the call. Cody puts himself in a weird spot. Cody's going to make the fold, even though now Cody's getting another incredible price. Cody's got to call 400 to win 22, almost 23 in this spot. So Cody does find the fold uh, correctly. He tanks a little bit, wondering if maybe he's folding the chop. You know, aces and nines with a queen. Uh, he eventually arrives at the conclusion that there's no way that uh, all three players are chopping. Somebody's got to have a beat. He does make the fold. And Raymond's actually going to pick up a massive one here. He's going to pick up almost uh, a little over 400 big blinds, 450 bigs in the middle. There you see it. Cody pitches it. And uh, Raymond's going to scoop a big one. Shows nines full. RJ, uh, one of my favorite guys in the room, gets the bad news. Got to put his card straight in the muck after turning all that equity. He uh, makes the full. Raymond scoops a big one. And it's just another day here at Best Bet Live. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit that like button. Follow, subscribe, share. Uh, 
whatever you do, it helps us grow the channel. We appreciate it, and we'll see you guys back here for more Hand of the Week. Live stream. Watch us play.